Indigenous Australians have lived on their land for tens of thousands of years. Their history and culture are deeply connected to the land. Before 1965, life was very different for them compared to other Australians. They faced many challenges and injustices. It is important to understand this period to appreciate their fight for civil rights. Their story is one of resilience, determination and the ongoing struggle for equality. When British settlers arrived in 1788, they took over indigenous land. This had a devastating impact on Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. They were forced off their traditional lands. Many were moved to missions and reserves far from their homes. This loss of land disrupted their way of life. It also led to the loss of culture and connection to their ancestors. The impact of this forced removal continues to affect indigenous communities today. Indigenous Australians faced widespread discrimination. They were treated as inferior and denied basic rights. They were often segregated from non-Indigenous society. This meant they were excluded from many areas of life. One of the most tragic outcomes of these policies was the stolen generations. Thousands of Indigenous children were forcibly removed from their families. They were placed in institutions or with white families. This caused immense suffering and intergenerational trauma. Section 4. The fight begins. Early activism. Despite these challenges, Indigenous Australians never stopped fighting for their rights. From the early days of colonisation, they resisted dispossession and injustice. They challenged discriminatory laws and policies. They formed organisations to advocate for their rights. These early activists paved the way for the civil rights movement that gained momentum in the decades to come. They showed incredible courage and determination in the face of adversity. Section 5. Raising Voices. The 1938 Day of Mourning. The Day of Mourning on January 26, 1938, was a pivotal moment in this struggle. It marked 150 years since British arrival. While the government planned celebrations, Indigenous Australians saw it as a day to mourn. They held a protest meeting in Sydney. They demanded equal rights and recognition of their dispossession. This event brought their grievances to national attention. Section 6, the legacy of 1938 and the path to change. The 1938 day of mourning was a turning point. It showed the growing movement for indigenous rights. It forced Australians to confront the injustices faced by Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. While change was slow, the seeds of activism were sown. The day of mourning continues to be commemorated each year. It serves as a reminder of past struggles and the ongoing fight for equality.